That's right, I am buying a boat. It is a catamaran, and I'm excited to tell you guys all about it. Been waiting a while to do that, so let's uh, let's get right into it here. Uh, this is the boat. Um, it is an Island Spirit 525. Pretty sharp looking. I'm excited about it. Uh, I, I've actually put a deposit down uh, on the boat almost four months ago, but uh, have not been able to... Uh, to uh, say anything about it yet until now because the, the, the manufacturer, Island Spirit, hadn't had uh, the video or the, the boat released yet. I have uh, This is kind of my little temporary makeshift uh, podcast setup. I do have a podcast channel, and it's on audio formats wherever you get your podcast as well as video. Um, and if you'd like, I do have more content at sailingdoodles.com. I have a six-hour sailing instructional uh, course. Uh, it takes you from zero to hero. Um, and so six hours of video instruction with uh, different section tests and everything like that. If you have more information, you can go check that out. And then I also have a webinar about the cruising life up. It is a little over an hour long and it gives you all the information on what you can expect to go cruising. As well as sailingnoodles.com, you can find uh, our merch store and other cool links and stuff like that. So if you're interested in that, go check it out and thank you guys. But let's get into the new boat. Just a couple quick hits about the boat uh, before we get into it too much is that it's available three four or six cabins and the most unique thing about it is it's gonna be a hybrid system with electric motors or it's optional electric motors and a beefy generator to power all that plus a big lithium ion battery pack and tons of solar it is a length overall of 51.73 feet, so that's why it's the 52, 525. Uh, the beam is uh, almost 27 feet at 26 foot 9. Uh, it has a draft of 5 feet and a displacement of 16 tons. So before I go into too much more about the boat itself, let me tell you about uh, Island Spirit and uh, how they're doing the sales and all that. So Island Spirit is, uh, they've been around for a long time. I believe originally it was uh, an Australian company. Uh, the company was uh, sold to, um, uh, it's actually, he's become a good friend, some several friends that own the company in Thailand. And so I met them when I went over to Thailand, great people. So I've had a really good working experience with these guys for five years. I know them very well. Um, and I've toured their facilities and, uh, you know, they do everything. Everything's like vacuum injected molded, right? So there's no balsa core to rot out or anything like that. And I've seen how they do it. It looks really good. Um, and so the sales of this, um, so this boat is actually going to be uh, available in the Navigar fleet. You may know Navigar. I've done a lot of work with um uh, lately uh, on their charter boats. And uh, so you can, you can either purchase this boat outright for yourself, um, you know, just however you want to do your financing, whatever you want to do. Of course, Navigar or whoever can help you get financing if you'd like to do it. Or uh, you can purchase it through the Navigar programs and put it in their charter fleet. Uh, kind of the way they have several different packages there. What you can do is uh, it's generally 20% down and then you can do a guaranteed income. Uh, I think it's 9% of the value of the boat um, per year. Uh, and so and then you get uh, six to 12 weeks a year of your own personal use on the boat. It depends on how you want to do that. Basically, they have a point system. You get 12 points if you do, if you book your boat, your own boat, or any boat equivalent in the fleet. You can use, it's not just your boat. You can use the fleet wherever you go, right? Um, uh, so, like, if you put your boat in the BBI, but you want to go to Greece for a week, you can do that, right? Um, so, uh, if you do the... You get 12 points, and for peak season, so during high season, it's two points to book your boat. So you, if you book all peak season, you get six weeks. If you do off season, um, it's only one point. So you can get 12 weeks. That's, you know, three months of use of your boat uh, in this program plus the guaranteed income. So uh, pretty cool there. Um, so you get the guaranteed income on that program. They also have another program where uh, it's not guaranteed, but you can get a slightly higher rate on average. Uh, I believe instead of 9%, it's like 11%. And the de benefit of that is that you get the tax write-offs. So you're running it as a business, so you get to write off all the depreciation and everything like that. So if you're looking for a tax write-off, that's a very helpful way to do it. Or they have another program, whereas if you put 50% down on the boat, basically at the end of the program, um, you know, you, I, you know it you you you'll you'll have only paid fifty percent of the boat. You you at the end of the end of the program, you just walk away with the boat. So it's pretty cool there. Um, but of course, if you want to purchase it outright and cruise on your own, then you can do that. So I will say, guys, that if you do uh, end up inquiring about this boat or purchasing a boat, please tell them you saw it on Sailing Doodles because kind of the way I'm doing, I'm still paying for the boat. It's not a free boat. Um, 
So I am, I obviously I'm getting a very good discount on the boat because I'm helping promote it on YouTube, but I do think it is a great boat. And then of course, if anyone actually buys this boat, buys a boat or with Navigar or anything like that, I actually, um, it helps me, um, I get a better deal on my own boat. So um, if you do contact them about purchasing, please tell them you saw it on Sailing Doodles. And uh, that way, you know, I get credit for, for doing that. And it really helps me out a lot. So thank you guys. Because if you, um, so Navigar is actually handing, handling the sales in the United States. If you buy it in Asia, it's Island Spirit handling it because they're based in Asia. Um, and of course, uh, I'm not sure who is handling it in Europe and all that. But so it is an Island Spirit 525. And let me get you the pictures up here. I think it's pretty cool looking. Um, it has this forward seating area. And after that little forward seating area is a door that goes into the salon. So it uh, it's really gets a lot of airflow there. Plus, it's easy to walk out and sit in this beautiful seating area. You can see it does have a, a reduced size of trampoline because of that um, seating area, but I personally would rather have a comfortable boat than a fast boat. Um, so the reason most catamarans have trampolines up there, especially the performance cats have huge trampolines, it's a weight savings, right? So the more fiberglass you have, uh, the heavier the boat's going to be. So, uh, you know, boat's speed is mostly about um, weight, uh, really. So it's waterline and weight. So if you have a lot of waterline and very little weight, you're going to go very fast. Um, so this one does have a, a little bit heavier, but it's still, I would rather have that extra comfort than that extra quarter knot of speed. So that's uh, the, where I, I view that. And also, it does have this really nice large flybridge up there with tons of seating. And I'll go into more detailed specs on this um, in a moment uh, about everything. But And then above that is the solar panels. All right, let's get into the uh, more information about the boat here. It is available in up to six cabins. So you can have six, four, or three cabins. I personally am going to do the three cabin. And uh, I will show you the layouts here. So the six cabin layout, you know, this would be a charter machine. If you, if you, if that's what your goal is, is to be able to use your boat with your friends all over the world and have it hopefully pay for itself while you use it and get all, you know, six to twelve weeks a year on it. The six, the six cabin will charter very well um, because, you know, it's a fifty-two foot boat. You put six cabins. Price per cabin, that's less than like a forty-five foot boat with four cabins, right? So people are more likely to charter yours. You can bring more people and have more fun. And, you know, the cabins are still quite big. Um, you can see in the six cabin, um, none of them are quite walk around beds, but they are quite large. You can at least get one side access to the boat and they're all queen size beds. So really cool. And they, I think um, all the cabins, even in the six cabin version, get their own head, uh, which is quite unique. And so there are six heads, you know, and six cabins, which is kind of nice. Plus, you get the four peaks, right, uh, for more storage. Or if you want to put some kids in the four peaks, you can do that. Um, and so it's, you know, if, if you're looking to charter, that's what I'd recommend. Personally, I'm doing a three-cabin boat. So the way it's going to be is uh, it's going to be more like the four-cabin layout. Um, but instead of one side having uh, four, ca you know, two heads and two cabins, I'm going to have one cabin, one larger head. So the whole head space will be like, one will be a big bathroom, one will be a big shower. Um, and so to have nice space. And then instead of having the other forward cabin, I'm gonna put my office up there so that I can work. Cause I obviously, I mean, you can see this office here is quite crowded and uh, with everything jammed in here. So it'd be nice to have a real office where I can have stuff permanently installed and being able to edit and do podcasts more. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, and then, you know, uh, so the four cabin version, uh, you can have that as well. Now the, the, the main salon, um, I mean, let's just go by deck here. So you have the top deck above that is your solar panels and you can have the options from 2,800 to 4,800 kilowatts, or I'm sorry, 2.8 to 4.8 kilowatts. So 40, 2,800 watts or 4,800 watts, uh, above the flybridge, And then, Below that is the flybridge. You have a nice big seating aft and a sun pad aft. And then uh, the helm station is forward and just starboard of the mast. So you have better visibility. So you're not just staring at the mast the whole time. And really, if anybody's ever been on a catamaran that has a proper um, flybridge like this, I mean, that's where everybody hangs out. You get really good wind. It's really fun to be up there when you're sailing. Um, and so it's pretty cool. Um, and then 
the uh, a, the downside of having a flybridge is you do lo- lose um, your main sh- main main sail size, right? Because now you're up a lot higher, so your main sail is a lot smaller, so you don't go quite as fast. But really, like I said earlier, I'm more about comfort than I am speed. You can set it up however you want. This, like the picture shows, it's set up with a self-tacking jib. I am. I probably will have a self-tacking jib, but I'm also going to put a, a um, furling. Uh, I don't know. Probably a. A furling geniker or something like that. Um, so I have a bowsprit added on as well, um, so that for downwind, um, you know, because I mean I plan to go west the whole time with it, so I will be downwind hopefully most of the time. Um, and you do see on the on the deck here, you do see quite a few hatches, so you get nice airflow. Plus you have two hatches up front and the windows there, and then the door opens, so you get a lot of airflow through the boat. It's really kind of an open concept design, so really nice for that. That is a cool thing. And then, let's see here. Let's go down to the main salon. Uh, you can have it set up a couple different ways. I, this is the way I'm going to have mine set up with a, a seating area and kind of a little uh, stand-up bar area, an L-shaped galley, and then kind of a buffet for storage on the other side. So, you know, there's just lots of natural light coming in. The side windows open up. You get There's so much airflow th- coming through this boat. That's a problem on a lot of catamarans, especially the older um, versions, is just not having enough airflow, but this one definitely has a good amount of airflow. Now, there is another option for this is if you're doing the six cabin, uh, you know, a lot of people just need more storage and more counter space. Most people are hanging out in the aft salon anyway. So the aft salon, really nice size, uh, really open um, with seating for, I mean, you know, this this little table with the, with the folding leaves that come out, you can sit 12 people around that thing, no problem at all. Um, so it's, that'd be where you're hanging out. And I believe it's got like, so in between the, uh, in between the, uh, the, the interior salon and the outside, outside the cockpit area, um, the, the windows and the doors all slide open. So you get a lot of space going through there. So you can just leave that open and it's just one continuous open space, which is pretty nice. Um, so now then another, so let's talk components here, right? Um, Kind of uh, one of the most impressive things and best option, one of the most unique things about this boat is that it is available as kind of a hybrid. So obviously I talked about the the solar already. From 2,800 to 4,800 watts, I'm going to definitely go to the higher end of that. And you can get an electric drive system. So the way it works is it'll have a 55 kilowatt generator. That's a pretty big generator, right? And then it has two electric 65 kilowatt rated motors. Um, And that's the equivalent of 85 horsepower. And so they've done the math on it and everything. They say with 37 kilowatt load on the generator, the electric motors will run the boat to eight knots. So you're not even, you know, you're maybe two thirds load on the generator and you're pulling eight knots, which that's pretty fast for the, you know, that'd be a fast on, on the motors, but it'll also power everything you've got there, right? So you have, you have your lithium battery system, 210 kilowatts. That's like, I think that, I don't even know. Is that more than a Tesla? Okay. Your standard Model 3 is 165 kilowatts. So this is going to be, you know, another 30% more than your Tesla. So uh, really a lot of battery power. You can also, if you really wanted to, you can go with traditional uh, uh, diesel motors if you would like. Uh, And so you can go with a 45 horsepower or a 57 horsepower, I believe the Yanmar, um, which would be more than enough. But, I mean, you know, you're doing this. It's pretty cool. I mean, how would you like to be able to just, you know, run off the sun all day and I mean never have to I mean just with that much solar that much battery how cool is that you never have to run an engine you just go downwind all the way um so it's it's really cool I'm really excited about this and uh, so I'm getting hole number two uh they're currently uh on construction on hole number one I believe mine starts any day now they're going to start construction on it um and so it's it's just it it's everything I want in a boat. It's got the space. Um, it's got the modern uh, electrical system. Uh, it's really comfortable. The, the one thing that I've always been apprehensive on as cats is, um, you know, you have a, a lot of really good, you know, entertaining and living space uh, on the main deck and the fly bridge and all that, but your cabins have always been a bit small. And this one has pretty good-sized cabins all the way around. You know, on, on the... Uh, on the uh, 
four cabin or all the cabins you have basically partial walk arounds but on the four cabin you have um a walk around a full walk around on the aft cabins for sure the forward cabins you have partial walk around the bed so just a lot of space in there um and you know it it's just i'm really excited about it um that so I, this would be the perfect boat for cruising around the world or if you want to put it in charter with navigar and just have some fun on it six six twelve weeks a year or something like that go for it so guys let me know what you think in the comments about this boat uh you know i've already put my money down on it i'm excited about it you'll see me in it next year for sure um and i'd love to see you guys in it um we but and, and like I said, if you do inquire about it, please tell them you saw it on Sailing Doodles. It'll help me out a lot, and I'm excited to get on this boat and go sailing. And uh, I hope you guys are excited to watch it. So, all right, let's do it.